Hi, I'm Wendy with Learning Resources. Let's take a look at hands-on standard science, photo-illustrated lessons for teaching and applying the process skills of inquiry. It's a professional handbook series of three books, each one by grade level. There's one for grades K-1, grades 2-3, and grades 4-5. Each book includes 36 hands-on activities, and the series is really about helping students learn to think in scientific ways through teaching the process skills of inquiry, which you'll see here in this particular graphic. The books are for mainstream classroom teachers who want to become more comfortable teaching science, and they, all of the lessons correlate to the National Science Education Standards, so let's take a look at that across the unifying concepts and all the various content standards. Let's jump right to an actual lesson. This is a lesson for grades four through five, and it is about communicating about a chemical reaction. So you'll see the left-hand side of the page includes all the basic information you'd expect to find in a lesson plan, the objective, the materials list, but you also see very transparently right here on the page the tie to the exact NSE standards. In this case, for content, we're going to be covering properties of objects and materials, properties and changes of properties and matter, and then as far as the unifying concept, we're going to be building a model and communicating about evidence and explanation. At the top of the left page, you'll see the background information about the topic so you can study up before you present the lesson. And you even get the key vocabulary words and their definitions. And even better, you get an exact script of exactly what to say to the student as you're introducing the concept. The next thing you do as a teacher is to follow the yellow arrow to the right hand side of the page and this is called try it. This is the hands-on activity part of the lesson. So the students are going to be building a model by um, making a vinegar and baking soda solution and there will be a reaction. They're making it inside of a plastic bottle. They'll place the balloon on top and the gas that's created will fill the balloon and you'll see because it's photo illustrated, step by step, exactly what the student should be doing in the hands-on part of the activity. And let me also show you, there's a graphic, or excuse me, a black line master that students will be using while they're doing the hands-on portion. And so they'll be drawing a diagram of what happens before and after the reaction. And you can use this black line master to assess the students. Now, my two favorite parts of these lessons are in the try it. They are the students may wonder and the meeting individual needs features. So let me explain why. Students may wonder is kind of like a look inside a child's mind. So it will anticipate additional questions that students will have and then help you become prepared to answer them. Meeting individual needs is a tip that will help you better assist students who might be struggling, those who need a little bit of extra support. Great for differentiating instruction. And then you move back to the left page where you have an extension activity, the now try this. This is a tie to another subject area, social studies in this case, so the lessons are even cross-curricular. 